Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about melasma primarily because I've been seeing a lot of people coming in with brown patches on the face and I think it's because we're in the middle of summer and um, so individuals are coming in um, telling me that the patches on their face are getting darker and no matter what they do even if they're not outside uh, many times people will say even if I'm using sunscreen they're still getting darker um, and so it's important to note several things if you are concerned about brown patches around your face cheeks um, forehead upper lip if if you happen to have brown patches there first thing to realize is that the Sun is not your friend the Sun is your enemy and so in all likelihood there is a significant contribution of the Sun um, making this condition worse in other words if you have noticed over the last few weeks that those patches are getting darker even though you are doing everything you can to stay out of the Sun and using sunscreen guess what it's not enough so many times even when patients are very diligent and they're very good at doing good sun protection they st their melasma still gets worse so you I mean I frequently tell patients you have to make this a priority ideally um, during the summer when the days are really really long I mean the Sun rises before 7 a.m. you want to be putting on your sunscreen early early on before the Sun rises and you want your sunscreen to be something else other than your makeup it's okay if your makeup has sunscreen however that should not be your sunscreen if what you're dealing with are brown patches on the face because bottom line is if your makeup was working they wouldn't be getting darker but if they are getting darker it's because your makeup is not enough so you should be using here I faded out yeah you should be using um, a sunscreen um, to protect yourself from the Sun now the sunscreen that you choose is very important you want to use a sunscreen that um, um, has a high SPF ideally and it'd be nice if it had a physical blocker in it that is to say if it had zinc oxide or titanium oxide because that has the added coverage of blocking the Sun's rays regardless whether they're UVA or UVB from the Sun many times sunscreens do a good job of blocking out UVA, UVB but they don't do such a great job of blocking out UVA and you still get even though you get decent protection from, from um, for the purposes of skin cancer um, you don't get good protection for the purposes of cosmetic benefit so you'll continue to get darkening of those brown spots or worsening melasma so bottom line put on your sunscreen before um, the Sun rises and and be sure that you have a sunscreen other than your makeup then you know you go to work most of us get out of the house go to work go to school whatever it is that um, you do during the course of the day if you got go out for lunch it's time it's probably wise to reapply if you happen to be one of these individuals that enjoys a nice stroll during lunchtime or if you have some outdoor activity like you decide to go for a jog or if you decide to eat your um, lunch outside which nowadays the days have been so hot um, um, I, I can't understand why anybody would but if you like to go outside to eat your lunch you have to be wearing a hat you have to be doing sunscreen or else those patches are only going to get darker and at the end of the day before you walk out of your building to go um, for your commute home even if it's just a few minutes between the building and your car you're going to be exposed to the Sun reapply your sunscreen so if you're leaving for your commute home at three o'clock four o'clock five o'clock before you leave reapply sunscreen so bottom line sunscreen SPF 50 or higher ideally with zinc or titanium oxide is probably your best bet and it's probably a good idea to apply it multiple times a day 
before you expect yourself to have significant sun exposure, I would seriously consider if what you're dealing with is melasma and it really bothers you, I would seriously consider not having a desk near a window because that's automatically going to contribute to darkening of those patches. Um, and I would keep, keep in mind that yes, your makeup may have SPF 30, but if you've been noticing that these patches are getting darker, it hasn't been enough. So those are all things to consider. If after doing all of those things, um, you know, you find or you've been doing all of this and you want more, there's also bleaching products. There's products galore that help bleach um, the, the color out. Now they have to be used very carefully and you should always um, reassess the need for continued bleaching because there are side effects to the use of these products. Sometimes they can cause irritation and make things worse or cause you to have dark, cause you to have dark patches as a result of the inflammation, which sounds crazy because then you only make a condition that you don't like worse. Sometimes they can cause you to have dispigmentation or like a different color. Like instead of having brown, it'll start to turn grayish. Very undesirable. So you have to be very careful with the bleaching products that you choose. Where are you getting these products? Nowadays with the internet, you can buy them from essentially any part of the world. They may be using them on the other side of the world, but here, in the United States, when we use certain bleaching products, we monitor patients closely so that, or at least in a de decent time frame, so that they um, don't experience adverse effects. Or if we start to see signs of overuse or signs of inappropriate use, we nip it in the bud and, you know, hopefully catch it on time. Um, inappropriate use of some of these products, oh my goodness, I have seen disaster. So you have to be very careful how you use bleaching products. Can they be used um, uh, when they are used in an appropriate way? They are very helpful. Very, very helpful. I use them all the time. But it's very difficult to say everyone should be trying this. You know, it's not a one size fits all. Every person is an individual. Is there a role for a bleaching product, um, you know, in the treatment of your melasma? That's a very individualized um, decision to make. Which bleaching product should we be using? Which active ingredient should we be using for you? Is there a role for an exfoliating product, a product that turns the skin over and helps you get rid of that pigment or that color? That's also a very individualized decision. Um, if you happen to have sensitive skin, that may not be the wisest thing to do. Is there a role for other treatments like chemical peels? Is there a role for laser? Is that something you should consider? All of um, those treatments are um, potential options in the treatment of melasma. The bottom line is that right now in the summer, is when we get the most sun, and that's when people come into my clinic concerned because their melasma is getting darker. And I, and the one thing that I tell everybody universally is, no matter what you are doing, if your melasma is getting darker, the sun protection um, regimen, the sun protection um, routine is not enough. It's not enough, you need more. Um, that is universal. Um, the other thing, so bottom line is, if you find yourself in those conditions, if you find yourself in that position, then you want to be sure that you're doing everything you can to protect yourself from the sun. If you've already done that, if you feel frustrated, you feel you need more, um, um, you could benefit from other treatments, chances are um, there you could very well be um, see improvement if you're appropriately treated. Seek an evaluation by a board certified dermatologist. From the Alamo City, this is Dr. Ana Salceda, helping you put your best face forward. Take care.